So I'll give Troy that. He's better looking, you know, but he's, he's crazy. He doesn't say much, and what he does say is shit. <laughs> it's weird. He used, to, he used to say, like, what? Or shut up. Or what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> I caught him in the backyard one day when he was young eating ants. <laughs> you ever seen a kid eating live ants? I said, freak, what are you doing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you eating those ants? What's wrong with that? <laughs> right, I don't leave that. The difference between he and I, he see an ant into his gob. If I saw an ant, like on the dinner plate, I was a bit of a cream puff kid. Because when we ate, you weren't allowed to talk, you had to shut up and eat. And if you stopped eating and started <laughs> looking at your food, mum's straight, what are you doing? It was an ant. Where? Oh, she's angry like I put it there. <laughs> there. Oh, where? I said, there. <laughs> Just take it off the plate. What's wrong with you? I have to secretly take it off because Troy's next to me going, <laughs> Put it in my mouth. Dad didn't give a shit. He's like, don't worry about the ant. The ant won't kill you. So I'm not worried about the ant killing me. I'm worried about this nutcase <laughs> who eats the ants. <laughs> it was weird. I found this big knife under his pillow once. It was like that long. It was sharp. And he was only about 10. It wasn't so much the knife that bothered me. It was just his reason for it. I said, hey, Sven. <laughs> so what's that for? He goes, just in case. In case of what, he goes, you never know. <laughs> so you never know what, he goes, I don't know. <laughs> Mate, how many ants you had today? <laughs>